Okay, we are over here on the International, which has an S bar heater on it. I think I went over this in a previous video on the rig heater that has one on there, but this is a hydronic S bar heater, which heats up the coolant, which will bring your, you know, it could be 40 below out. You come out, pull the switch on it, get it running, come back 45 minutes later, and your motor is 120 degrees. So it's, it, Completely go, does away with the cold starts. Um, it's just a necessary thing up here. So we want to test this, make sure it's working. Then take all this off and put it on the peat. So that's what we're going to try to do here. Sounds like we got some chunks of something up in there. I tried blowing it out. We'll have to take it apart probably and give it a good cleaning. But it was firing. We got the igniter going. Like it fired. Victory. <laughs> Alrighty folks, so I'm gonna have to stop it here. Oh, it's smoking. We'll get this thing going, uh, get it stopped, and then we'll pull it off and try to get it on the peak. Yeah, it's working. All right, folks, getting ahead of myself here again, and I almost finished a project without including you guys. So we took the S-bar off of the international. Now we have it mounted inside the passenger side box on the Pete. Uh, we've got the exhaust hole drilled there. It's bolted to the back panel. And uh, now we're just gonna open up this opening here so we don't crimp our hoses so we can get our hoses down in there without putting them in a bind so that's just the update there we have to finish the hoses we're teeing off into the sleeper lines which i believe is going to work we'll find out if they don't i'll be replacing a bunch of heater hose um, it's the same same line as right there so whether i go there or here i don't see the difference but, uh, all right, I'm gonna get it finished up here. All righty, folks, it's the next morning. It's 14 degrees, it has a feel-like temperature of four. Um, I've had the heater running for about an hour. Um, my switch will not, the switch I'm gonna use for this is not gonna be until Monday, so right now I just have a jumper, uh, jumping it over for the igniter. Uh, about 50 minutes, almost an hour here. By the time we're done with the video, it'll be about an hour, I guess. And we'll turn it off here and see how, see how the start goes. Mm. 
that's it. So if I had a push-pull switch, I'd just push the button in, that would stop it. You can hear it cycling down. Do today on sealing up, putting grommets in all the openings. It's nice and warm. Uh, you can see we just went in and teed right to the sleeper lines, one there and one behind it. So that was really easy since it was right there. I didn't see the point going all the way up four feet further into the motor when it's the same line. The fuel line we ran out there. Right, and what I had to do was kind of a little bush, little bush fix here, because I um, I actually ordered a, the proper fuel line to go down the tank, but here again it won't be here for weeks. It's kind of hard to get, so my bush fix. I'm trying to see if I can get it in here to show you. You see what I did there? This this plug here. I just carefully drilled, this is a three six, uh, 530 seconds, 530 seconds line, or 316s, I can't remember. I drilled at an angle through that, that plug, and I put the fuel line right in there, and it, I want to say that it's a little more than half tank, and uh, I think I'm just going to seal up the top of this with some butyl, and honestly, it might work forever, as far as I, I know. So that's that, and like I said, we got to finish our we got to finish our uh, electrical up today and wait on the switch to get here. But let's see how the start goes. Let's just see how this start goes. So four or fourteen degrees. Depending on what you want to do, the feels well, like, or more of the central part of the table. You know what? All righty. Wow. heater uh, you just can't beat that so alrighty folks see ya okay we're pretty much wrapped up I know my videos probably suck lately but you know, once you get out of doing them the process isn't very good anyways I wanted to show you the my heater lines coming out of the box here we did kind of makeshift make a grommet out of a trailer light grommet and then I want to show you what I use here I use this stuff for just about everything all kinds of stuff right anytime I do an electrical connection I seal it in this uh, this butyl liquid and it makes a watertight uh, electrical seal it just it's just good um, but anytime I have like maybe a gap to fill and a no ring and a, and a and a grommet or a space that needs to be sealed up right the stuff just works fantastic you might have to take a couple times going there with a couple layers but you know the hole wasn't exactly round and this grommet didn't fit 100 percent around it so uh just kind of using that to fill in there makes a good seal for the hoses so yeah, it's all done, people. Uh, there's our connections up to the sleeper lines. And uh, we're done. We're, we do have to put the switch on yet, but 
uh, we'll do that when it comes in the mail so righty folks that's the s bar heater um this truck is a hundred percent set up for for winter now so uh all righty folks we'll see you